Hi, I'm John Wick and I exhibit my work on DeviantArt.com and I've put together this short video because if you visit that site you mostly see the finished product of the drawings that I do. I have posted some in progress drawings along the way but I'm going to show you what my thoughts were in picking the subject matter of my next drawing and I'm going to do that with a series of uh, still photographs and kind of a narration of uh, a photograph I'm working with. Hi everyone, welcome to my drawing area. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how I choose the subject and what might catch my eye so that I want to work and create something that I might enjoy. And this is a photograph of a Dodge Charger Daytona and these cars are quite rare and their history I find interesting. Um, Years ago, if a manufacturer wanted to race a car in NASCAR, they had to sell that car to the public. And most of the time, this was done by building a car from a mass-produced model like a Torino or a Cyclone or a Charger or, say, a Roadrunner. In the late 1960s and early 70s, the major players in NASCAR at the time, which would have been Ford Motor Company and Chrysler Corporation, made a series of very limited additions to their mid-sized cars that added some aerodynamic tricks to give them higher speeds at tracks like Daytona and Talladega and that's where the names of these cars come from uh, the Dodge Charger Daytona and the Ford Torino Talladega and their Plymouth and Mercury counterparts um, they needed to produce at least 500 cars in a model year for that vehicle to be eligible for NASCAR and Dodge started with the Charger and upgraded that to the Charger 500, which was somewhat rare, um, had more of a fast back glass in the back and had a flush grill. Um, but with the Daytona from this black outline, and you can see that defines the ordinary front, they added this nose section that had considerably less frontal area and is considerably more aerodynamic than the original car and then if you follow the lines to the back there's a black wing on the back of this car and you know it's one of the largest wings ever put on a car if not the biggest I mean even a Ferrari F40 doesn't have a wing this big so Marco Grady took this shot and he has given me permission to use it as a reference for a drawing he was kind enough to send me the original source files so that I could have the best possible view of this car as I draw it. Once I do the drawing and upload it to DeviantArt.com, I will have a link to Mark's site and give him credit. Um, one of the things that I enjoy about this shot after the nostalgia is the perspectives involved. Um, when Mark shot this photo, he is at the front three-quarter view and he is standing, obviously. And what this does, of course, is give us a view from above the car and we can see of course the hood and in the front and we can also see most of the top of the car which is probably about 50 inches off the ground and, and Mark standing at approximately six feet so that gives us that perspective but as you move to the back of the car in that rear wing which to my recollection is you know six or eight inches deep the horizontal line is just a thin line which means that's the same height as our eye and if you follow these vanishing points here through the front of the car and you connect it with this rear wing you have a vanishing point real close over here um, and then front to back you do the same thing it's also very close and and I find that very interesting and I, I it makes me want to draw this car now I've done other drawings um, where the, the vanishing points are actually almost theoretical because yes there are vanishing points but if I plotted them out, it would be in my backyard or in my driveway. So I find this an interesting shot. I like the colors. I think I can have some fun playing around with it. And so what I'm going to do is uh, get started, and I'll do a series of uh, photographs kind of uh, outlining my progress here, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Here I've started things. I've laid everything out. I've got my paper laid out, my vanishing points, and my reference points that I use during the course of the drawing. And at this point I'm starting to add some color, and this is kind of a critical juncture for me. I'm working away, and uh, if I don't like the way things are going, uh, 
I might have a tendency to throw it in the waste paper basket. But I'm uh, moving ahead here. It's looking okay. It's not going to be great, but it's going to be all right. I'm John Wick. Thanks for watching. Um, see the finished drawing at johnwickart.dvnr.com or send me a note at johnwick0 at gmail.com. Thank you.